Hi everyone and welcome to today's session. We are going to be showing a demo, live demo, of state of the art 7 billion parameter RAG fine tune model running locally on a Mac laptop. I am incredibly excited about this topic because it really reflects the fruition of several technologies that have been developing over the course of the last year. There are a variety of people that have been exploring these technologies and so if you know, you know. I think what we'd like to do over the course of the next 10 minutes or so is for those who don't know or haven't seen these technologies in action. We want to introduce you to them and actually show you in LLM where a new implementation of it that we think is absolutely the easiest way to start bringing these technologies to bear and to start doing some really cool things like running six and seven billion parameter models locally on your laptop for development. Now what we're going to do, we're going to have a short graphical chalk talk. We're going to talk about some of these really exciting new democratizing AI technologies. We're going to focus on Llama CPP, K-bit quantization, and GGUF. We're going to walk through and try to give an understanding of how these technologies developed, some of the key players behind them, and how these technologies fit together. We're going to use that just to motivate and then set up some of the new capabilities that have been brought into LLMware, and then we're going to get in and we're going to show the live demo. Now let me introduce the players, and players probably not the right word. These are ninjas. These are 10xers. These are some of the true developers and innovators in the AI world. First, there's Georgi Gurganov. He is the pioneer who has been behind the Llama CPP project. All of this has happened over the course of the last year. It is, in effect, a very high performance native C and C++ implementation of LLM class code. It works for Llama, but it works for most decoder-based models, and it is the underlying class code running in native C and C++. Second, some major pioneering technology has been the work that Tim Detmers has been doing around K-bit quantization. All of this has come out second half of 2022. A lot of it has rolled out in 2023. Some of the implementations of 4K bit implementations really have come over the course of the last few months. And then if you don't know the bloke, you've got to know the bloke. The bloke has been pioneering I'm in the Hugging Face community, publishing and converting thousands of models that are in PyTorch into GGUF format. GGUF format just came out at the end of August. So all three of these technologies are actually very closely related. Llama CPP provides the underlying model class code. Llama CPP now supports quantization using K-bit from two to eight. So you can implement very easily easily with your Llama CPP model. You can implement these types of quantizations. And then once a model has gone through this transformation, this is actually the work that Bloke has been doing in terms of converting a wide range of models and publishing them out then as GGUF so that a wider community can begin to consume you know, model technology for inference in this new GGUF format. Now, once you do this, you still need a client library. You still need some way to run inference uh, with these GGUF quantized models. Now the model, the beauty of it, is it's removed all the Python dependency. So in theory and in practice, you can actually take these GGUF models and you can deploy them in just about any programming language that provides some sort of client API. Now, this is a great thing when you start thinking about embedded and really robust applications where you want something very, very high performance and system level programming that you can bring in to run inference in. But it also makes a ton of sense for you know, JavaScript, for Node.js, for Go. You can start bringing these interfaces on top of a model and you don't have the Python dependency. But for a lot of us day to day in, in doing any kind of custom development or in building a RAG workflow, we're actually going to be bringing it back into Python because the rest of the code that we're developing is in Python. The rest of the workflow is in Python. So there are two leading Python client libraries. One is the C Transformers library by Ravindra Morella. And the other then is the Llama CPP Python library by Andre. And I do assume that his cat or a pet of his, Andre Betlin. Now, both of these are really, really powerful ways to actually consume and run inference then on a model that's gone through this GGUF transformation process. Now, the last piece of the story that we just wanted to introduce, because it's really mind-blowing to us actually, is three of the leading open source models, and actually we would add a fourth, which is the Desi LM7B, which just came out last week. They've just come out in the last few months. So the Llama model, the E model, and Mistral, and that, that's a strong win. That's actually what a Mistral is. All of these technologies have just 
come out in the last few months. Now, our story ultimately is in how all of these elements start to come together. When you start thinking about you know, state-of-the-art transformer models implemented then in a high-performance way on Llama CPP with four-bit quantization wrapped in a standard like GGUF and then brought into a very flexible Python inference interface. When you can start bringing all of these things together, this is actually what enables some truly game-changing democratization of AI technology. Now, one more character that we want to introduce, you know, very humbly, which is something that we've actually been behind. Um, one of the projects that we've launched is called Dragon, which is delivering RAG on. It starts with all of the leading open source foundation models. The three that we just highlighted, um, it includes um, the stable AI, which is the pensive looking gentleman in the left. That's actually what stable, stable diffusion thinks a stable AI genius looks like. There's obviously the E model, and then the metric table is our uh, perhaps little joke with our good friends at Desi, who've put out both six billion and seven billion parameter models. You start with these leading foundation models. We then run it through a series of RAG fine tuning that we've developed over the course of the last 18 months. It includes a lot of materials from finance, legal, contracts, regulatory materials, closed context question answering, removing hallucinations, short, clear answers, and really trying to get the model to give the types of answers that ultimately are going to work in an enterprise for a fact-based retrieval. We bring it through that type of fine tuning. And then what do you get? You get a dragon. And anybody that's watched Game of Thrones, knows dragons are fire. Ultimately, dragons are what you're going to be looking for to deliver really high performance, state-of-the-art, retrieval augmented generation performance. So what you see here is a reflection of eight of the dragon models that we've created, delivering RAG on. It's RAG on all of these leading foundation models. So the idea is that it can be a drop-in replacement for whatever base foundation model you're using, or you could quickly use and compare different models depending on their respective strengths. What you see reflected here then is we've brought these against a RAG and struct benchmark test that we've created and all of the models that we fine tune and develop, we bring through this scoring system. You can see very, very high levels of accuracy. We then look uh, specifically at other subtasks and performance. You can see today the E model is overall the best performing, but very notably, the Dragon Desi 7B, which actually we just released yesterday on the Desi 7B model, is actually the, the second most accurate. It's a very, very high performing model and really strong at things like not found, yes, no, and math. So stay tuned. That'll be in another video. But what we're going to highlight in this session is the E6B, the Llama 7B, and the Mistral 7B. So what's new? Well, we've started to put these pieces together. So we took those three Dragon models. We created a four-bit quantization GGUF version of these three models. We've then integrated into LLMware pre-built shared libraries for Llama CPP using the C Transformer CPP and C Types interface. And we're shipping that now in the pip install of LLMware, pre-built both Mac Arch86, Arch64, and x86, Windows, and Linux. Now, for those who are ninjas, uh, you can build from source, and Llama CPP provides an incredible incredible array of options to optimize for the operating system, for different chip capabilities, for different BLAS libraries. If you have CUDA installed, all sorts of optimizations and ways that you can build the library. But what we wanted to provide was a very, very simple interface out of the box. So if you were, like most people, trying to run this on a Mac or Windows or Linux using a standard CPU, you would have an out-of-the-box pre-built binary. And we purposefully did this using the Transformer CPP C-Types interface. We thought they did a very, very nice job of bridging between Python and C++. Very intuitive. It also then becomes very easy with the GGUF model class that we've created to handle all of those implementation details. And for someone that's gone out and already built four C transformers, a specific optimized built library becomes very easy then to just plug and play and bring that into this so that it can be extensible for the ninjas that want to go build their own libraries. And then finally, we've created a really simple interface on top of this. So whether it's a GGUF model, whether it's a PyTorch model, whether it's an API-based model, it's the same basic simple interface, which is just you call the load model method, you give the name of the model, and all those implementation details are handled below the scenes. And our vision in LLMware, and we were so excited as we sort of see these pieces come together, is one of the things we want to provide is most seamless, 
most easy to use out of the box integration with state of the art GGUF models and to be able to bring them into RAG workflows and deploy them really, really easily in a really straightforward way running on a CPU based laptop. Where can you find the GGUF models? Well, you can find our models. You can see just on the left, uh, that is one of the models, the Hugging Face model page. I mean, you can see we've just put it in the files for that model. So you could either use a Hugging Face Hub to programmatically pull this file. That's actually what we do in LLMware. Or if you wanted to just download the model directly, you can go to the files and you can just download this GGUF file. That's what we've done for the Dragon E model, Llama, and Mistral. So the, the GGUF models that we're providing directly. But what we would also encourage, as you just see on the other side of the page, is go to the bloke's page on Hugging Face. He has over 3,000 GGUF models. So just about whatever model you're using today in PyTorch or in Transformers, there's going to be a GGUF compatible version now, which you can start to use coming from the bloke. All right, so now let's get into the demo. There's really just one prerequisite, pip install LLMware. You will need the latest version. So you should get that automatically, but if you want to confirm it. It is version 0.1.12. And then the only other caveat is we're supporting these four platforms. So both of the Mac OS systems, Linux and Windows. Again, as I mentioned, there are actually dozens of ways you can optimize and build the underlying Llama CPP library that optimize for all kinds of other scenarios. We wanted to keep this very simple. So if you fit within one of these four boxes, you should be able to pip install LLMware. You'll have a pre-built shared library that's going to work on your system, and you won't have to do any other kind of build from Sorch or any other CMake scripts to get all of those pieces out working and running. Now, the example code that we're going to be looking at, which is really just going to be running locally on my Mac, all that example code is available available if you go to our GitHub site. So with that, let's flip over. And here is the code. And the code may look familiar if you've seen some of our other demos. This is essentially the hello world we like to use in looking at any of the RAG models. Very simple LLMware um, port. We're going to load in a prompt object. We are going to pull in the RAG benchmark tester data set. Please feel free to substitute that for your own custom data set. This is just pulling it in and exposing it then as a list of dictionaries. Each dictionary then just has a few few keys, it has a query, it has a context, and it has an answer. And then we're just going to loop through those. And what you see here, if you've seen some of our sample code before, there's nothing about GGUF. You load the model, you load it with the model name. The only thing that you have to do is load this model. So you're going to pick the one that we just highlighted, showing it in the E repository. It is the GGUF version. All those implementation details are handled behind the scenes. So let's go ahead and run this. As you're pulling the model into memory, GGUF files are relatively fast, but I found it can take probably 15 to 30 seconds for the model to get loaded. That's for the initial load. Once the model is loaded, the follow-up inferences tend to be relatively fast. Here you can see it has started started running the inference. The first one was 16 seconds. The second was less than a second. Four seconds have a larger generation. And then you can see the generations are typically in the one second to two second time frame. Uh, there's been no other optimization. This is just running on a three-year-old Mac M1 laptop with 16 megabytes of RAM. And you can see high quality, accurate inference, good inference speed all running locally. So when you see this, you have to think this is the future. The combination of these technologies, a compiled fast version of the underlying transformer architecture combined with K-bit quantization. We found 4-bit KM is the best set of trade-offs as many other people have found. You package as a GGUF binary and you can start deploying very effectively 7 billion parameter models running locally on a laptop and instantly integrated into a RAG workflow. So we will leave it here. We hope that you've enjoyed today's session. Please stay tuned. We have a lot more coming on this topic. We think it's one of the more transformational technologies that have developed over the course of the last year. And it's one of the things that at LLM where we really aspire to keep bringing new thought leadership, new ideas, and new capabilities to make it the easiest possible experience in terms of exploiting the latest and the greatest around this technology stack. 
back. Please check out all the citations and references to some of the people that we've mentioned throughout this. They are the ones really pioneering and doing some brilliant work. And there's some amazing things going on in each of these communities. Stay tuned for more demos and videos. And as always, please feel free. All the sample code you can find on our GitHub site. Install LLMware and get started running some of your own experiments locally. Thanks again and have a great day.